Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 13 tutorials. We're going to go into how to make coins easy on Ultimate Team, guys. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the methods. So yeah, let's get straight into it, guys. The first method we're going to be talking about is the quick sell method. It used to be called the discard method, but now in FIFA 13, I think they've got quick sell so we're gonna go ahead and go into any here we're gonna click gold you can do silver as well but we're gonna go with gold first and then we'll talk a lot more detail through silver so first of all you want to put in 600 to 650 first of all I want to tell you guys 600 I'll tell you guys as we're going through it basically guys you want to look for players like this and you want to put 600 on the players that are 81 or lower as you can see someone's already been doing these and 650 on those that cost more guys so you want to go ahead and look for these as you can see 600 there we're gonna put that bid on even though 550 is for 75 overalls you want to go with 550 guys you're gonna make about a 50 coin profit someone obviously wants that player bad because of his pace so will they want him guys 90 pace a lot of people still don't believe that pace is not everything it still is a big factor in the game but it's not all of the, like, what people expect it to be so you want to go ahead and buy those people that have the pace if you do, if you're not going to lose out on coins so you want to go ahead and sell him for about a k or maybe um 1k 1.5k or something but as you can see guys one there we would have put 650 on him someone's already just beat us to it and we want to just go ahead looking through 75 there's no real point unless you pay for 7, um, 550 unless they have a lot of pace and people would buy them off you then there's no real point to buying them at all but you want to carry on looking through this until you find players like that guys another way to do this guys is we back out here as you can see Donovan's been outbid so we won't be making that f like I think it's like six coin profit on him if you want to go with 550 that's a big one for you guys if you want to know that um so basically the things you want to go for here is the shinies as you saw there was there was a shiny there we just missed are we gonna catch it up are we gonna catch it up no nope, it's gone but yeah guys um we want to go ahead and go for shinies that's the only thing you want to be bidding around 600 for these players like this you want to be bidding around the 300 mark and that's about it like 300 and no more if you want to make the if you want to use the quick sell method if not then you if, and you want to use trading method just buy them look as you can see julio Casar goes for 800 coins right there so if you buy them for like 500 you make a 300 coin profit that's a, so that's the trading method for you guys look at this we can buy him there at 450 600 right there guys 600 we bought, bought him from um, we're gonna go ahead and press a on him and as you can see quick sell for 600 because it's 75 overall we're not gonna quick sell him though we're gonna list him because he can go for quite a bit this is like trading guys this is the trading method which means you can make a lot more money on people if you buy them for less and then sell them for a lot more due to the pace look at that beer barney 96 pace i believe he goes for about 2k i'm not sure but i will go over that but um yeah that's basically it guys if you go to silver you don't want to be bidding up too much you want to go to about the 200 mark and that's about where you want to be bidding for players like this if they're 72 or over then you want to be bidding 250 exactly how you do it with the goals but 400 coins less and um, 10 overall less I guess so yeah people are getting good deals here when they pay 200 coins for shinies look at that 200 coins there 200 coins there people are just gonna bid that because they know how much they're gonna be making back I think it's better to go through with the silvers you won't get as much profit but you'll find a lot more players because people would go for the gold but I would I would say go for the silvers or maybe even go for the gold if you want to find the pacey players and do the trading method which I'm going to talk about right now guys so let's move on to the buy and sell method that's the buy cheap and sell dear sell for more basically so basically we're going to go into this and um, see who's going for cheap basically so we're going to go in here best thing to do just keep looking through current bid until you see someone's going for quite a bit of money actually cold goes for quite a bit say there 1500 in a 41212 formation probably would be a good buy I'll probably go with him 41212 formation well, let me know in the comment section guys what kind of tutorials do you want me to do what do you want me to look for for you guys and yeah I'll look for all that 
But um, you guys know EA takes a cut, right? So we're gonna look for a thousand. See Dumbo Bar there. We see Cisse with 39 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and put 650 on him. Can go ahead and put 650 on a few of them if I had the coins, which I don't now. I've been bidding a few on a few players. The reason my coins are gone, guys, is because of this guy. I found him yesterday going for around the 9,000 mark in the 352 formation and I, s I found him being sold at like 4,700, 4,800 and stuff like that and I was like I have to buy this guy and make around 4k profit and now he just doesn't seem to be going after I bought him so yeah let me know in the comment section why that is or maybe you, could, you guys can buy him if you want they do go for a lot more don't worry but um, as you can see we sold, we bought him for 250 we make it a 6 coin profit when we quick sell, that's the quick sell method coming back in as we discard these players Agna, I'm not sure how you pronounce that name but we're gonna go ahead and do that with him as well quick sell, we're making 2 coin profit, not as much but it's still there and if we keep kept doing that guys it would add up it will add up, don't worry about that um, but yeah, we're gonna carry on. We're gonna just discard Martins. We got him for 600. Probably could have sold him for around a 1k, but we're not gonna do that. We wanna sell all these guys. They've got a lot of pace, man. But we're gonna sell all them guys. But yeah, we're gonna. Um, I'm gonna talk about the next method, which is the 59th minute method. That's a big method, guys. But if you can get there, then congratulations, because <laughs> a lot of people don't get there actually. But um, the best thing to do is probably narrow down your search. So I'm gonna go with a left winger in the 412. Well, well, why would you need a left winger in that? We're gonna go with the 433 formation gold player, guys. Nationality, we'll leave that blank and we go with, I think BPL. I don't know what to do with that. And we just, yeah, we just do that. And we just keep clicking that right trigger, guys, until we get to the 59th minute. So we narrowed down our search and straight away we're into the fifth minute and stuff like that. So the best way to get into it, it looks like is to actually narrow down your search, which is what I do to get there pretty quickly because otherwise if you just search gold and you're just going to be sitting there for hours pressing the right trigger if you're on Xbox and pressing the R2 button if you're on PS3 so we want to get to the 59th minute as soon as possible and then I'll skip to the rest of the video guys when I get there so we're finally here guys we're in the 57th minute so it's around the 59th minute we're going to just keep going forward and you'll see that we'll get to the 59th minute ASAP right now we're on the 59th minute guys so hopefully we can pick up some bargains as you can see there's 65,000 for hazard not gonna be good the things you want to look for in the 69th minute is the buy now price because that's really where your bargains are gonna come from as you can see 44,000 um, we're not trying to look for a big bargain if we can get like hazard or someone real cheap it's gonna be big for us I guess he goes for 1k Sinclair but I'm not gonna, I don't, there's no point in making 200 coins profit, right? We need a bit more than that. I'm gonna keep going, looking for a few players. 59th minute, they've just come in. I'm gonna wait a few minutes um, while I talk to you guys about packs, because I'm not gonna be opening a pack, because I don't have enough money, but packs are a big thing too, if you guys wanna make coins. Um, basically, with packs, they're, they're quite risky, I would say because um, you're not sure like you, that nobody knows if you're gonna get anything but you could get messy you know that's the that's good, the risk with the packs you can make you could get a messy and then you're making over 300k or whatever however much messy goes for is it millions I'm not sure put it in the comment section how much messy goes for but um yeah if you get messy you're lucky and you've got over like however much you make off him then you've made a lot of a profit there that's how to make coins I guess um, but then if you don't make anything from it, you're losing coins, so I guess it's quite risky if you go through packs But um, the last method I want to talk to you guys about is play matches um, Play matches is a big um, way to make coins um, I'm gonna play a match for you guys and tell you about an FC catalog I'm not gonna show you the match, but I'll show you what I'm talking about If you go back to your menu screen guys Right here where you see the ultimate team here, see EAS EASFC match day EASFC you want to click on that or maybe press X it's entirely up to you they both go to the same screen go to catalog and then you'll see this guys you want to go ahead press right trigger go down here to ultimate team and then you'll see these like 200 coins for 15 matches 
you get 1000 for 5 matches which is the one I bought to show you guys and you can get 1000 for 10 matches there but it depends on your level 1000 for 15 matches and extra squad slots and stuff like that it also it depends on your level you know but um, we're gonna go into a match and I'll show you guys what all of that stands for and why you should buy it if you want to make extra coins so this is my squad guys we've got Tim Howard Jones Dawson I'm not sure how you pronounce his name actually is it uh, as Pilicueta I'm not sure. We've got Richardson there on the left back. We've got Enzagbia, Mikel, Milner, Pablo Hernandez, Ramirez, and Dembaba up front. And then we've got a nice little bench. Lindegaard, Kelly, Skirtle, Rodwell, Etherington, Naismith, and Berbatov with the chance of Foster and Huddlestone also coming into the team. But we're going to go straight into this match. And I'm going to tell you guys why you should get those, um, those coins, those extra thousand coins from the FC catalog for FIFA credits. Stay tuned to know why. So we're coming up against this guy who's also bought, built a BPL team, guys. He's got Young on the left and Lennon on the right. So a lot of pace with some big strikers, Suarez and Torres up front. Santi Cazorla just behind them. Ramirez in the midfield and a great back four there, as you guys saw, and a great goalkeeper too. But we're going to go straight into this match, guys, and hopefully pull off a good score. But even if we don't, you guys are going to see the significance of that 1,000 coins plus from the FC catalog so we played that one game guys and look at this we're gonna come up with this statistics first of all you see the man of the match and the player ratings and stuff you want to press A to advance and look at that guys you get the skill awards as usual the completion award as usual which comes up to 657 coins but as you can see in the bottom right hand corner there there's a blue tag I guess you can call it a tag for the EAS FC coin boost so they're adding 1000 which means you get a total coins of 1657 so that's basically it guys that's the last um, tip I want to give you guys after showing you that um, also you can get coins by doing the team of the week challenge by um, beating the team of the week you get coins you also get FIFA credits and also do tournaments because you can get um, coins through that I'm going to show you guys that right now actually some tournaments um, how you will get coins online as you can see 2,000 coins there plus a gold pack I believe I got in the first time I done that um, a silver um, pack plus 1,250 coins this is as well as getting the coins for winning the matches guys 1,000 coins there plus a premium bronze pack and 2,500 coins but make sure you like like comment and subscribe guys make sure you check out the annotations in the outro which is the next episode and the previous episode I hope you guys enjoyed this make sure you share it retweet it all that good stuff it's been your boy Sunny and I'm about to sign out with this ending a sale of Ricardo Carvalho I believe he was um, for value so that was for nothing basically but yeah 600 coins and he's worth 300 coins so that's how you make coins guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial it's been your boy Sunny and I'm signing out Peace out. But take a break for a minute, it's the summer now. Come on. Sometimes I feel like